Hi, Marie here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you what I wore for the week and I am telling you, I can't even believe it. I got more compliments than last week. How is that even possible? I haven't gotten compliments pretty much my whole entire life or very few and all of a sudden I've gotten five in two weeks. Like that's amazing. So anyway, three compliment getters for you. I have also discovered an absolute like my new summer love. Like I'm in love with this fragrance. Uh, it's gonna be the one I rock for the summer. It gives me all the feels and I can't wait to share all of them with you. Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. You'll get a piece of this three times a week, which is, you know, maybe a little entertaining. So feel free to hit that button, join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community and without further ado, let's get into this. So a couple of weeks ago, this wonderful woman named Sonyata, who happens to own Untamed Perfumes in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, reached out and asked if she could send me her fragrances. So I went and checked on her website and I was so excited because She's one of those artistic perfumers who takes uh, moments in her life, like a snapshot or an impression, and turns it into a fragrance, which I love. She writes about it on her website, and I just think it's totally intriguing, exciting, and right up my alley. You know I like taking perfumes and kind of putting my own experience or twist on it, my little fantasy thing about, you know, certain fragrances giving me the feels. So um, I was really excited about smelling some of these creations because she kind of is kindred that way and comes up with her perfumes out of an experience or an impression that she has. So I just love that. I love it when the, the whole process is so, like it's not like, I wanna make a good perfume, but it's I wanna express myself through the artistry of perfume. I love that. Like I just, that totally excites me. So I was really excited to receive some of her fragrances and try them out. And I wore them all week so I could give you my thoughts on these very intriguing fragrances. These fragrances were sent to me, but they were sent as PR. So there was no sort of, uh, you have to do a video or anything like that, but I want to bring these to you because they're kind of a new discovery. I don't think too many people have heard of Untamed. Uh, and I wanna bring to you guys some unique things. I wanna bring to you designer stuff, affordable stuff, but also some stuff that's really unique and artistic uh, because we all are fragrance lovers. And yeah, I want us to experience the whole gamut. So here we go, let's talk about it. So she has discovery kits. Um, it looks like this and it comes with all these beautiful cards that talk about each of the fragrances. The inspiration for the fragrance is on one side and then the notes uh, and the name of the fragrance is on the other side. So this is to me so beautifully done. Like I'm just so impressed with the quality of these cards. Like each card is gorgeous. Uh, and then it comes with this little thing. So you get that for 75 Canadian. And also just so you know, she was kind enough to give us um, a coupon code. I asked her for a coupon code. She's giving us a 20% off coupon code for two weeks. I'll have everything linked down below. I don't receive anything from it, but you guys would get a discount if you chose to buy. So anyway, fragrances come like this. Each perfume has 2.5 mils. So they're a decent size sample. You're gonna be able to really wear it and experience it. The first fragrance that I want to try is called Blackbird. And this one, honestly, is one of my favorites. In fact, I can say that it probably is the favorite for me. I am absolutely in love with this fragrance. Now, as I said, there's a card that goes with each fragrance. And so she tells what the inspiration is. And for Blackbird, it's this pair of crows, I think they are, that show up at her house every day and they have for years. And so she named them Theodore and Anastasia. They show up in the morning and then they fly off and she sees them the next day. And so just kind of in her magical wonderings, she thought like, do they somehow turn into humans during the night and, you know, frolic about or, you know, that whole idea, which I totally rock with because, you know, I'm always thinking about the fair folk and weird stuff like that. So I loved it. So that's what the inspiration is for Blackbird. 
Um, this one is just seriously so freaking good. Like my mouth is watering as I can smell it. So the the notes in this one are spices, Bulgarian rose, Moroccan rose, artemisia, davana, incense, benzoin, mysore, sandalwood, woody notes, vanilla, and oud. Um, now when I smelt this, first of all, I was like, I love this. Like instantly, I'm in love, like total in love. But then I'm smelling it and I'm like, what does this smell like? Like this smells familiar. What does it smell like? To me, it, I thought to myself, I think it smells like Santel Royal by Guerlain. So I went and smelt that one. Um, and there is a similarity. So I think it's the rose and the sandalwood in particular. This one has spices as well. So there is a, kind of a, a similar, like it's in the same genre uh, of fragrance as Santal Royal. So if you love that one, you'd love this one. That said, I would say that I like Blackbird even better. It's a little smoother, very, very similar. So you get those beautiful spices. Like I, I can smell like a cinnamon, maybe some clove in there. Uh, and then the beautiful rose. It smells as if it would have leather in, but it's probably the oud that I'm smelling. And then the sandalwood just comes out beautifully. And if some woods don't turn my crank, I can say confidently that all her fragrances um, that have wood, I am in love with. So the wood is smooth, it's rich, it doesn't feel harsh, it, it doesn't prick my nose the wrong way. So love, love, love the sandalwood in this one. If you like woody fragrances, Blackbird would be right up your alley. If you like the woody rose uh, combination, you'd like this one. This one is, uh, you know, even like an oud bouquet. Um, this ho would definitely hold its own uh, with oud bouquet. I would say this, this is one of my favorite fragrances that I've ever smelled, like seriously. Blackbird rocks my world. Like I am in love with this fragrance. So, so, so impressed with it. Um, as this dries down on the skin, uh, a little bit more rose, a little bit more sweetness comes out, but you don't lose that mysterious kind of sexy, uh, spicy rose component at all. Um, but yeah, as it dries down, you get a little bit more of that vanilla and the oud coming to play. This is seriously a sensational fragrance. I'm so impressed with it. If you like things like oud bouquet, if you like things like Santal Royale by Guerlain, you would love this one. It's kind of in that same genre. Simply beautiful. And the other thing that's cool about these is that they're extract de parfum. So they last a good amount of time on the skin, like 10 hours or more. As this one settles, it gets a little bit sweeter. And that's what I've noticed with all of her fragrances uh, is that as they, as they settle down, they just leave a beautiful kind of sweetness to the skin, which I happen to love, like my mouth is kind of watering. Um, but anyway, Blackbird, highly, highly recommend. So absolutely impressed with it. Like, <laughs> it's a hard love for me, hard love. So the next fragrance I'm gonna share with you is Chocolate Earth. So I put off putting this one on because the name sort of put me off. I'm like, chocolate earth, oh, I don't really like the idea of smelling earthy smells. When I grew up, I didn't like uh, the smell of dirt. Like if you made a mud pie, I didn't like the smell of the dirt, especially after it dried, it kind of made me feel sick. So I'd put off putting this one on and I'd watched an interview with Sunyata and she was saying how the um, chocolate earth was kind of inspired by the idea of, you know, as kids, uh, you make a mud pie and you pretend it's chocolate, which I totally did. So, uh, but I never liked the smell of it. So it was kind of an ode to that seemingly. So I thought, well, that's kind of neat, but I still put off putting it on. I smelt it on the cap and eh, wasn't sure about it. So I put it on the skin and I was surprised because I really, really enjoyed this fragrance. It's one of the most unique smells, but you know how sometimes unique is actually, like I love being weird and wonderful, but sometimes weird and wonderful is just weird. <laughs> There's no wonder to it at all. This one is weird and wonderful. So I thought that was kind of neat. Now the, uh, the notes in this one, the top has fennel, pine, and tarragon. The heart has cedar moss, elimi mushroom, and tagettes or marigold. 
And then the base is salted chocolate, chocolate fresh earth, fir balsam, maple sugar, oak moss, patchouli, and woods. What I notice right off the top is I do get that bit of fennel. So there's a licorice component to this just slightly. Uh, definitely notice the tarragon. I notice some of those balsamy aspects to it kind of throughout the wear of the fragrance, but especially in the opening. Uh, but what's really fascinating about this fragrance is the earthiness um, and then the chocolate uh, attached to that. It somehow really works. You know how in some food uh, you mix chocolate and it's more of a savory component? That's what this is like. It's not like there's still a sweetness to it, uh, but it's just balanced so uniquely with the earthy uh, kind of woody components. This one to me, when you put it on the skin, it smells almost velvety and, and kind of grounding. It's very earthy, but then with that hint of sweetness to balance the earthiness. Uh, such an interesting composition, like seriously, it's really cool. Um, what I thought of when I wore this was that if we lived in the Lord of the Rings, which I don't know about you, but I kind of wished I was an elf and lived in the Lord of the Rings time. <laughs> but if I lived in some sort of fairy world, I think that the dirt would smell like this. Like it would be, it would smell so amazing that you could almost eat it, but not quite. Like it would just smell delicious enough that you wanted to smell it, or that, that you, you could almost want to taste it, but not quite but very, very grounding and centering. I found it somehow comforting. And again, as this one dries down on the skin, you never really lose that earthiness, but the chocolate comes out to play a little bit more. So, so fascinating. Uh, this isn't one that I would probably want a full bottle of, but such a cool fragrance and such a cool experience smelling this one. So different, so, so unique and different. Now, next one is called Shaped by the Wild. I wasn't as excited to, ter to try this one because it has so many woods in it. The top notes are frankincense, pine, and sage. Heart is cedar boughs, fir bal balsam, iris, orris. Base is cedar, earth, wood, smoke, woods, and vanilla. This fragrance was inspired by a trip that she took with her husband and daughter to the First Nations village uh, that her husband's ancestors came from. In that village, they had this big house. I think it was a gathering place. And there, there's all the, you know, they, they burn a fire there the whole entire time when they have a festivity, which may last for days. So um, I, at first I'm like, oh, I'm not sure I would like that one because it's so woody and usually I'm not a fan of woods. With all that wood and just the whole smokiness aspect, I thought to myself, oh, maybe it'll be really masculine. Maybe, you know, I wasn't sure if I'd like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So definitely lots of wood in there, but it's somehow so smooth. Um, there's there's that smoke in there but it's not overpowering it doesn't smell abrasive at all it's just kind of wisps that you get some of these fragrances actually when i smelt them i got a little teary because because they're just beautiful it's like looking at a painting like sometimes you you look at a painting or you listen to a song and they 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 bring they they speak to your heart. Sometimes when you smell a smell, to me it's the same thing. Like, it's the same thing as a beautiful painting or a beautiful uh, song where it just somehow connects to your heart. So it happened for a couple of them where I just felt emotional somehow when I smelt them. Uh, not sure why, but they just really, I just really connected with them. And so Shaped by the Wild is one of those. What this fragrance spoke to me about was, um, I thought to myself, this is what the Nordic kings and queens of old would have smelled like. You know, when they're living in villages and you've got a big great house at the top of the hill and uh, you know, there's uh, a fire going all the time and the, the great house is made out of wood planks. It's kind of rough and raw. Uh, but there's opulence there as well and the size, the grandeur of the size. And then, um, you know, in different books that I've read, 
um, you know, from, from kind of the old world, they would put sometimes a log in the fire and just keep pushing it in further and further. You'd have the smell of the fresh wood, but you'd also have the smell uh, of the burning wood and it would just kind of like get infused in you kind of thing. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It's just so beautiful. Definitely woody, definitely there's that smokiness, uh, but surprisingly as woody and smoky as it is, it's I think unisex, maybe leaning a little masculine, but I, I would totally wear this one. Um, yeah, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, somehow I find this one grounding. Uh, it just kind of makes me feel like this. <sighs> Relaxed, almost like if, if, when you're at a campfire, but it doesn't smell campfirey. But that feel that you get when you're in the elements and just around a, a fire, that's kind of what this reminds me of. Sometimes, like I said, woody notes can smell sharp or abrasive or something of that nature. This smells smooth. It smells woody. It smells rich. Uh, but never sharp or harsh. Didn't find the projection fantastic on chocolate, chocolate Earth or Shaped by the Wild. Like you get some projection for a while, maybe a couple of hours, uh, and then it starts to get a little closer to the skin or so I think, uh, but, but just so beautiful and I just love the way these dry down. Uh, Blackberry, massive projection. Like it's, it's an awesome projector, very similar to Santal Royale or Oud Bouquet as far as the projection you're gonna get. Longevity is amazing as well. So the next fragrance is called Running With The Wolves. So she's got a card here and essentially Sanyada uh, just kept on getting this impression of like, you know, running with the wolves, like imagining running with the wolves. And out of that uh, came this fragrance. Now the notes in this one are Szechuan pepper, black cherry, and red apple in the top. The heart is tuberose and almond, and the base is agar wood, blonde woods, leathers, and soft animalic notes. This is one that I got complimented on. I was so excited. Um, it's actually a really beautiful fragrance. The star of the show to me is the tuberose, but it's not a bubblegummy tuberose, so it's more of a grown woman, slightly sexy tuberose. Like the whole idea of wild, uh, sexual, slightly carnal, like that kind of idea. There's some sort of aspect to it that I feel in the majority of these. So just kind of a neat sexuality in all of these fragrances, if that makes sense. So Running With The Wolves is no exception. Um, I get some of that pepperiness. I get a little bit of cherry, uh, but it's not like if I, if I smelt this, I'd go, oh, definitely smell cherry. Uh, but there's a slight fruity sweetness to it. Don't smell that apple. Uh, definitely get the tuberose, uh, a little bit of that almond, and then I definitely notice some leather, but it's not a harsh leather. I wore it, my sister rarely gives me compliments, like once in a blue moon, or sometimes she'll go, you got too much perfume on, like the one time I got it, and she goes, did you just spray? So, you know, it's not like she's complimenting me all the time, and I walked in and she went, oh, what are you wearing? And and so then I told her and she said, it's really pretty. And she smelled like she actually stuck her nose into it and smelt it. So uh, that was exciting because a lot of fragrances that I try, you know, she'll go, no, like it's not her bag. So she's not mean. <laughs> she's really, really nice about it. But like, you know, not all my fragrances are her taste, right? But she really enjoyed this one. So I find this one to be really beautiful. I would say it leans a little bit more feminine. I've watched a couple of reviews that found this one extremely sweet. I don't actually find it extremely sweet. There is a sweetness, but it's not, it's not crazy. It's not girly in the slightest, definitely grown woman. And I would say very, very sensual. So really like this one. Next one I wanna share with you is one of my full bottles. So this is the packaging that they come in which I think is just amazing. And then on the side, you get this beautiful detailing with the name of the fragrance. And this one is called Melvana. So these are the bottles. They've got a wood cap. Um, the labels are like the linen type paper and each uh, paper on the perfume is slightly different. So this one has a bit of a wave pattern to it, which is really cool. Classy, understated packaging, which I actually really appreciate. Like I said, these are 30 mil and all of them are extract de parfum. 
Now Melvana is just plain freaking gorgeous. This one was inspired by this magical, whimsical uh, cafe that she uh, happened upon in Greece. It's this cafe that has, you know, they serve liquor, I think there's food, there's coffee. So it was kind of this old world feel and she wanted to kind of capture the essence of this cafe that she went to, and I believe the cafe was called Melvana. So what she has here is cardamom, thick Turkish coffee, mesmerizing sweet shisha tobacco, rose-scented confections, ancient resins, smooth woods, and a touch of smoky incense will transport you to another time. Now, what I really love about like all of her writings is she's just an excellent writer as well, so it's enjoyable to read her information. Uh, the top of this is cardamom and pink pepper. The heart is rose and, dry, rose and dried fruit. And the base is cacao, Greek mastic, Mediterranean incense, tonka bean, tobacco, Turkish coffee, powdered vanilla sugar, mahogany wood, and sandalwood. The interesting thing about this one is that Greek mastic note. Now, I know what it is because I've never smelled it before, and I smell it in both this one and the My Greek Lover fragrance, which I will share with you in a second. Mastic is only found, I believe, in Greece, and it's kind of like a type of resin. Uh, definitely is a unique smell. It is a little bit sharp. It's definitely resinous smelling. So you get a major dose of that in the opening. As it dries down, that Turkish coffee definitely comes out. I definitely get the, to the, the tobacco and I get the cacao. The other notes kind of support it. Um, this one is not sweet, but sweet somehow. Like I, I, I associate it with sweet, even though it's not sweet. Um, it's gorgeous. It's deep. It's interesting. It projects amazingly, like amazingly, and it lasts for hours and hours. Like I'm saying over 12 hours, this you'll be able to smell it. Um, but as it dries down, more of that coffee comes out and it smells so freaking sexy, so plain delicious. Like I can't even believe it. Like it's gorgeous. The only thing that I'm not really keen on in this one is that opening with that strong mastic resin smell. So it takes about half an hour for that to kind of settle. I find it a little bit sharp, but once it settles, it, it blends beautifully with the rest of the perfume. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. What this reminded me of, in one of these books that I read, this guy was gonna be going on this long journey. Actually, he was going into some sort of other Celtic universe, but anyway. He was getting ready for this journey. He knew it was gonna be difficult. So his friend or mentor, it was in a city, takes him to this little alleyway where this, there's this just plain kind of looking garage sliding door there. No sign on it, at it, on it at all. And so he knocks on the door and all of a sudden this big Greek dude opens up the door. Like he's just huge. And so he goes, come on in. And so they, they go in, they sit down at a table. He, he gives the one guy a hug, then he gives the guy that's going on the journey a big, huge hug. And just everything about the atmosphere was warm and, and nurturing somehow. So they sit down at this wood plank table. Everything's really elemental. He, he tosses two big, huge drams of some sort of liquor, kind of like a mead or something. They toss that back. He comes out and he doesn't ask them what they want to eat. He gives them what he feels they need, which to me was just like, I, I just love that idea. So he brings out this food and they eat a few different courses and every course just seems to satiate his soul, like fill him up to the brim. And they're laughing and talking and having such a great time. He brings out some sort of thick syrupy coffee and has all these kind of uh, delicacies for sweets and they sit there eating that and drinking this coffee and the whole experience just completely prepares him for his difficult grueling journey oh like I just love it I want to experience that it you kind of do in this fragrance like it just it smells so amazing like I just love it it makes my mouth water a little bit uh, with that coffee and tobacco and vanilla sugar. It, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's complex. All of these are quite complex, but I'd say this is the most complex. Uh, it just, it, it feels, yeah, it just somehow, it reminds me of that book, which just makes me so happy. 
It's a beautiful fragrance. This one is one of her most popular ones. So Melvana is amazing. I'm surprised Blackbird isn't right up there as, as one of her most popular as well because it's so phenomenal. But I'm really happy to have a full bottle of this one. And as far as compliments are concerned, I'm at the grocery store. And so I get talking about uh, talking to the cashier, which I often do. Like I always want to chat with them because cashiering isn't fun. I did it for a while once and I really didn't enjoy it. And so I always try chat and just be happy. And so got talking to her and I had sprayed this perfume quite a few hours before. And then she just went, you just smell so amazing. <laughs> And I'm like, seriously, like there's the plexiglass. And so I'm thinking to myself, I'm probably choking everybody out and didn't realize it. But she just thought my perfume was fantastic. She's like, you just smell so amazing. So that made my day. So Melvada got me compliments too. Now the last fragrance that I have to share with you is one of my favorites. This one somehow got me teary too. I don't know, maybe it's just a teary week. Maybe I'm savoring life. Maybe it's the perfumes, but this one did it for me. So Untamed, um, My Greek Lover, it's the new one that she's just released. Same sort of packaging with the beautiful gold sides with the name written right on them. There was just a tiny bit of leakage that happened. So I notice it's just ever so slightly darker on the side. This fragrance is my new summer love. Like seriously, I love this one. It makes my mouth water. It's perfect for summer. It's definitely the lightest and probably most uh, mass appealing out of them all. Uh, but it's just absolutely, absolutely stunning. So this fragrance isn't about a Greek lover, it's about her love for Greece, which I totally love and totally get. So definitely you're getting all the components of what I imagined Greece to smell like. This one, like Melvana, has a bit of that Greek mask dick, uh, which I can smell, but it also has lemon, bitter orange, herbs and spices, green grape, quince, fig, jasmine, orange blossom, honey, cypress, pine, cedar, musks, and civet. So this one, I definitely get that lemon it smells sunshiny. I definitely get the orange blossom. And this one I wore over to my friend's house and again, I probably went to ham, but she thought it smelled amazing. And when I left for the evening, she still could smell it. So the projection was phenomenal on this one, but it's just a beautiful, you know, it's what I imagine the Amalfi Coast or something of that nature to smell like. The whole idea of it being a, an homage to Greece totally makes sense to me. When I smell this, I just imagine myself on the hillside of like on the coast on a hill and I walk over to this lemon tree uh, and I pick the lemon off the tree and the, the warmth of the sun and you can smell kind of the herbs almost on the air. You can smell kind of the balsam uh, in the air, uh, but also the sun and just the beautiful, like just, just the smells uh, 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 around you. But then you put your face into this beautiful lemon and take a big sniff of the outside of a lemon. That's totally what I get along with that beautiful orange blossom. So the orange blossom, it's like, I can smell orange blossom probably more than any of the notes besides the lemon, uh, but it's not like it's overpowering. It's not like uh, La Vie et Belle Le Clat, where the orange blossom is center stage, like right up here. This is kind of in the middle, but just kind of cushioning all, like it's kind of like the nucleus of the fragrance, but you can smell all the other notes kind of going all around it. Uh, but the, the orange blossom is what kind of holds it all together. Like I can totally imagine myself there when I'm smelling this smell, uh, just because of the beauty of that, that lemon and the mandarin and the other fruitiness of it. Uh, it smells like sunshine. This is going to be my number one fragrance for the summer. Although it's a massive projector and lasts forever on the skin, it doesn't feel cloying in the slightest. It's seriously phenomenal. So this is my number one summer fragrance. Like I'm so excited to have it. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna be rocking this one a lot because it's just 
it's seriously so so good so love 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 this fragrance like seriously love it so overall so excited about this house so excited by the compliments i got because like i've said like this the past two weeks have been like crazy for compliments but normally that's not the case but the fact that this house garnered three compliments from three different people to me is pretty impressive so i'm going to leave the link to the website along with the coupon code that will last for two weeks I would highly recommend like if you're interested in a new house and want to explore uh, to get their little uh, discovery kit that comes with the cards in this $75 but 20% uh, off isn't bad and that's Canadian price by the way um, and yeah I, I, I highly recommend checking them out it's definitely experience um, and you never know you might find one that you absolutely fall in love with the three standouts for me are definitely my Greek lover Melvana and Blackbird like this Blackbird is so freaking like it's it's freaking freaky good <laughs> all three of these are amazing the other three really enjoyed them wouldn't necessarily purchase a full bottle of them but that Blackbird, I think I'm gonna have to get it because I really, I'm, I'm in love with it. So overall, an amazing week. Got to try some amazing fragrances. I got moved by the fragrances. I got compliments by them. They were interesting. And if I could use any sort of descriptors to kind of overall talk about them, I would say that they are really well blended and smooth, long lasting, and then either sensual slash sexual or very grounding. So that was my experience. Love, love, love this house. I will leave, um, Sarah Mays did an amazing video and so did Tom Elise. So I'll leave those linked down below so that you can watch them. I'll have her link to the site uh, down below and as well the coupon code will be there. Again, it's for two weeks. Uh, if you choose to check them out. If you've tried these perfumes, please weigh in in the comments because uh, we all wanna know. Uh, it's not just my opinion, I wanna hear from you guys. Thank you so much, Sonyata. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.